All right, boys and girls, it's time for part four of the kitchen and living room renovation. And uh, because, well, the views are high on Danish and not too high on English, let's just do a one take it all. Yeah, we're moving this fuse panel today. And as you can see, we have a pre pre-built circuit breaker, fuse panel, whatever you want to say. And I just mark it out on the wall, drill a few holes. Thanks to the trusty laser, it's very easy to put these things up nowadays because, yeah, you put a laser, you drill the holes, voila, the fuse panel, the circuit breakers, whatever you want to call it, is now up on the wall. And look at that, now I've put some cables in here, but boys and girls, I haven't showed me pulling the cables and the wires, so yeah, let's just look at that. We have all of these plugs around the floor, and we also have some cables running up to the green boxes, which will be sockets and switches in the wall. Today we also have uh, some plumbers here, so they're taking up all of the room but look at this we have 15 wires no 17 wires inside this single socket where well, there's three sockets and also we have a bunch of noise today as you can hear wait i'm screaming in danish to my co-worker here um but yeah what are we doing well we're just pulling a ton of wires these are temporary just put in the ground and we get got some cable ties and just looking on the other side the apprentice is doing all sort of fancy dance moves i'm surprised it's still a one take at all um but yeah these wires will be put on the ground, but later on they will be screwed onto the floor, so they won't just be laying on the floor. Uh, but you can also see we have a ton of wires out here. This is the kitchen, so it's a little bit hard to imagine how the kitchen is going to look. Oh, that's a fancy face. Yep, don't want to show that number to the uh, people outside. Um, but yeah, what am I doing here? Well, we're putting a conduit all the way from the basement to the first floor because we need to pull some new wi-fi cables some internet cables and if because it's all in a conduit we can just pull the wires at a later stage but who wants to do that when you can just do it from the get-go uh yes yeah, scary stuff walking all the way up here and looking down to the house that's just destroyed either way we got a new supply for the uh, first floor as well and why is that laser on such a weird tower well that's because uh, we finally got the clear to put on another socket over here in the newly constructed wall over there yeah everything is bricks in this danish house here it's good old-fashioned uh oh, anyway yeah back to the circuit board and the fuse panel and whatever you want to call it yeah sorry okay first thing is customers still living here actually in another room in another building so i'm gonna pull off all of the cables and also mount them on the same day because we need power back again i saw this weird junction box we have 16 amps for a cable that can only take like five amps or something this tiny cable in the bottom and i looked inside and i'm like i don't really want to cut this no i don't so let me just take my handy little scissor here and just cut this cut this it's not needed either way we'll find a solution that's a little bit better than that and uh, yeah i kept hitting this wood here because the basement is not tall enough i'm actually getting hurt my finger either way um this is a camera from Timo. It costs like 10 euros or something, 10 pounds. And uh, why did I buy this? Well, because it's very cheap. And uh, yeah, I'm probably getting hacked by China as we speak. But at least I could see where this conduit was running uh, because we needed to make sure that we didn't need to get some new power here because it had been supplied by the old fuse panel. We have a bunch of wires now coming into the new fuse panel. I've just marked them all with their names because I'm not going to mount them today because... Well, I'll sell that later on. Very surprised I could talk two minutes before taking my first break. But yeah, the annoying thing with these fuse panels is we need to run the wires all the way up behind all of the circuit breakers. So that's a little bit of a hassle. So I'm not going to show you all of that because instead, let's just move the main supply over here. So I grab the fuses out from the uh, way, <laughs> from, the way <laughs> from the road where the uh, main fuses are. And uh, yeah, we need to pull out all of these wires, the meters over there, the wire for the house is on the ground. And with that, I could pull it back and put it up to the new fuse panel. I did heavily damage the wire. Luckily, I didn't actually do any real damage, just looked very scary. And it was able to be fixed. Either way, the plumbers here, the electrician is here, it's all chaos. But uh, why are all of these wires just here? Well, the issue is the reason I don't want to put all of these wires into the circuit breakers is because they're not mounted in the other end and i know people and people will just turn on the circuit breaker so that's why i've just hidden them um, and then it was time to put on power back on the house so we first of all before we turn on the power we gotta make sure all of our safety equipment is working the rcd you know all of the good stuff it's also time to check the ground connection house the ground connection we're looking for a number below 1600 ohm and we got 26 28 ohm sorry and with that the fuse panel is not at all done uh, i still need to put up a mass massive thing down here to to hide all of the wires but we can't do that until we have the floor but at least the fuse panel is gone from over here thank you for this two cut video